Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'd like to talk about moderation analysis using SPSS process macro. And I've already explained to you here that a moderation analysis is a form of a regression where the relationship between two or more variables depend on a third variable. Using this uh, conceptual model, which I have already designed, you can see that here I have the independent variable as school climate, and then I have the dependent variable as um, academic performance, I have the productivity as the moderating variable. So I like to know how school climate can influence academic performance and then how productivity can influence performance and then how the interaction of productivity and school climate strengthen the, the relationship. So I have raised three hypothesis from what I have done here, um, I've already raised three different hypotheses that I'll be testing in this particular study. So the, the hypothesis number one reads that school climate would positively influence academic performance. Hypothesis two is that I want to see how school climate will influence academic performance. That is this particular line here. And then I also want to see how productivity would influence academic performance. I like to see, uh, I like to test the relationship between productivity and then student academic performance. And then I also want to see the interaction effect of these and these, how would it also strengthen the relationship? And the moderation analysis gives us the opportunity to understand how the moderator would strengthen the effect in the relationship at different levels. For example, at low and high, or at low, average, and high. So if you are going to use process macro, for example, you might need to, uh, the process macro will give you the opportunity to understand the relationship or the effect of the moderator variable at low, which is minus one standard deviation, at average, which is the mean, and then plus one standard deviation, which is also at the higher level. So, so what it means is that at higher level of productivity, what will be the effect? How will it increase or how will it decrease? At low effect, how will it you know, impact on you know, the relationship? So this is what is exactly we are, we are going to look at today. And I'll be using um, SPSS process macro so here we go. So this is basically uh, the relationships, uh, the, the model that I have developed. When I test the, the, the hypothesis, I'm going to write out the results here for you to, to learn. So this is SPSS. I have a data set to conduct this analysis and uh, to show us how we can actually test moderation using process macro. So I will come here or you go to analyze, regression, process. Then I will scroll down. I will select my moderator variable productivity. I will select academic performance, which is my dependent variable. I will select um, school climate, which is my independent variable. Then I'll come to option. I would like to see the visualization code. And then I'll set this at three. And then I will select at minus one standard deviation. So I would like to see the interaction effect of the, uh, the, the moderator at three time points. So I want to see the effect at low, average, and high. So I'd like to see what uh, uh, the effect will look like. So I'll click OK. Then I will select this button because the if you look at here, proactivity is, is more than eight um, letters. This is one, two, three, four. So it's, it's more than eight. So if you have, if you save the variable names using more than eight, uh, eight characters, so you need to click here. You need to check here. Otherwise, the process macro will not run. Then um, I like to use, I like to impute 
the control variables of covariates. And so all is said, this is what they want. And then the, the bootstrapping here, you can select 2,000, you can select 10,000, 20,000, but I like to keep it at default, which is 5,000. And then um, everything is fine. Then I will, I will click OK. So the analysis will begin to run. So here you can see the, the, the output of the analysis. It has produced the result that you, you, you want to see. The model is model one. That is the, the dependent variable is academic performance. And then the, the dependent variable, the independent variable is school climate. And then the W, which is the, the moderating variable for activity. And then I have the sample size 257, the covariates age and, and then gender. And then if you look at this summary here, the, 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 model, the model summary, you can see the values that I have a statistically significant model fit. So, um, and then here, this is the result. And then in this particular case, you can see that uh, the effect of school climate on academic performance is not statistically significant because zero falls between the lower and then the upper band um, of the bootstrap confidence of the confidence interval. So, and then you can see the p-value is 0 0.995. So this is quite, um, this is not statistically significant. So uh, it does not mean that there is no effect, but just that we can't uh, confirm that, that that's a statistically significant uh, effect here. Then um, proactivity, if you look at proactivity, proactivity you can see that um, uh, it is statistically significant. T-value is 0 0.02. And then you can see that it's, uh, this is, there's a negative sign here, negative sign here. So indicating a, a negative statistically significant effect. So what it means is that the, the effect of proactivity on academic performance is statistically significant here. But again, our focus here, our interest here is to learn, uh, is, is the interaction effect, okay? Is the interaction effect, because here, if you look at the interaction effect, you can see that it's statistically significant. And then, then the covariates, the effect of gender and uh, the age, we, we actually have no evidence of uh, their positive influence on academic performance of the students. So we don't actually have that effect. Now, if you look at the test of highest order conditional inter uh, interaction, you can see that we have a pretty statistically significant model here. When writing out the result, the, the result of this analysis, you, you may want to um, you may want to write it out. And then this is where we, we are particularly interested in. So because this is the output of the results at three time points, which means we want to see the effect of these. Uh, the interaction effects at three time points. So here, this is low or minus one standard deviation. And this is the mean, uh, this is the average at average level of productivity. And then this is at high level of productivity. So you can see that um, at all levels that the effect, the, the effect, the interaction effects are all statistically significant. And then you can see, look at the bootstrap, in, uh, the bootstrap confidence interval here. You can see that um, uh, that zero did not fall between the null. So uh, there's no negative uh, positive here. And then there's no negative. So, so you can see that uh, this, this, look, this is looking pretty good. And then this is the visualization code. So if I want to plot the graph, I'll simply, I'll simply double click here. And then I will select this particular point, and then you come to this point, open new, you go to syntax, and then you paste. So when you paste it, you highlight all of them, and then you, you run, the analysis will produce the plot for you. So you'll be able to see the interaction, the visualization uh, slope, 
uh, which you may want to put inside uh, into your uh, reports or your paper. Now, there are two ways to plot this graph. There are some journals that do not accept colored uh, images, so of colored figures or images. So if you want to publish in a journal that uh, want to need black and white, then what you might do is you click, right click, and then you say, open these in a separate window. And you, when it opens, uh, then what you might do, you simply come to this point and then add interpolation lines. Um, so the lines will come up for you. Um, so you can see here, it has shown you three different lines, okay? So here I can simply uh, select um, how I want it, maybe 1.5, uh, and then I will apply. Can say black, so it makes it a little bit uh, easier. So you can see the difference is here. At this point, the dotted lines, the 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 greenish line shows you, then the reddish line, and then uh, and the, and then this other one. So uh, then you can see that the the blue line here. This is. Uh, uh, at minus one standard deviation, and this is this is at the mean, and then this is above the mean. So this is one way you can actually present this. So when you are done with it, you simply uh, close up, and then you can see your plot here. If you don't want to see this box of line, um, you can come to option. Okay, you come to lines, click, and then it's gone. So when you come to line, you click at that point and then uh, because so you can actually have that. Then if I want, I can simply come to this point um, and then I'll edit here and call here academic performance. Performance. And then here, I will come here and call this climate and then at this point I'll, I'll edit this particular place and call this productivity and um, yeah uh, and then here I can decide I will come here and then call this minus one standard deviation or low okay so this is how you can uh, create this particular uh, lines. So you can now copy this and paste into your Microsoft Word. Then another thing you might want to do is that uh, here, we, the SPSS can also give you another link, which is to open in another SPSS file. So here, you simply come to this point, you go to graphs, go to legacy dialogues, go to lines, Click on lines, go to multiple, and then define. So the school climate, which is the, the independent variable, we come to here. Academic performance, we come to here, the variable, and then at this point, productivity, we come to lines. And then when you are done, you simply click OK. And so you see a colored line. So most journals, some journals, we, we say they don't want um, colored images. So because of that, you, you, may, you may want to stick to this other one. But if the journal is OK with a colored images, then you simply take this one and then it did this. A little, I always want to have a very clean image. So I'll simply come and take this out. And I like to reduce this so it doesn't become too bulky. I can put it on 1.5. So that reduces. And then I'll come to here. Academic performance. 
and here activity here in climate. And then here, so I have my low average. Okay. So at this point, then you can also pick this and then um, you save your Microsoft documents. And so this is how you, then you come to the outputs, then you copy out the results, which is basically what you want. Um, make my presentation. So you can see at this particular point, so we, we have the results pasted in the Microsoft Word. Um, then you can see the output from the um, SPSS process macro. So this is the Figo in black and white. Um, supposing the journal that you want to submit the work to um, requires you to put black and white image. So you may actually want to use these and find a way to color these, uh, you know, turn these to black. And then if the journal also can allow you to submit a, a better, a better, um, clearer image or colored image, then you can always uh, use this. But I know that most journals will allow this for online publishing. So this is basically how you can run um, moderation analysis using process macro and then, um, in the next video, I'm going to write out the results, uh, how you can, I'm going to show you how you can write out the results of this uh, analysis. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel so you can always get uh, new notifications when I publish new, new videos and then like the channel so that um, I, I will always bring you more content. You can always leave your comments as the comments are uh, will also help me to do other videos that will help to clarify some of your questions. Thank you.